Most of us use Wi-Fi to connect to the web. Wi-Fi is a wireless connection that links our devices, like desktops, tablets, smartphones, and laptops to the internet. When you're using Wi-Fi, you're sending or receiving information over a wireless network. When that information, like emails, bank account info, and even passwords is in transit over an unsecured network, it is susceptible to being intercepted by anyone within range of the wireless signal. So, it is important to know how to keep that information and your devices safe when connecting wirelessly. Protecting our information on the web can be as important as protecting our valuables at home. Just like most of us keep our homes safe by locking our doors, we recommend using strong locks for your information on the web. If you're running a Wi-Fi network at your home or business, you can help keep yourself and your visitors safe online by securing your network. But just as some locks are stronger than others, not all Wi-Fi security is created equal. The oldest standard for secure networks is called WEP, and it's a pretty weak lock. WEP security might stop a casual criminal, but it's actually not that hard to break. Fortunately, there are much better security modes available. WPA is good, but WPA2 is best. Any device with the Wi-Fi trademark sold since 2006 is required to support WPA2, and older equipment can generally be upgraded. We strongly recommend you use WPA2. WPA2 works with a password. It's important that you choose a unique, long mix of numbers, letters, and symbols so others can't easily guess it. If you're in a private space like your home, it's okay to write this password down so you remember it. Keep it somewhere safe so you don't lose it. But be smart, and don't make this the same password you use for your personal stuff. A quick note. While you're securing your network, you may see two options for security. Personal and Enterprise. Enterprise is the equivalent of a fancy badge system with a unique ID for each person, and you need IT help to set it up. If you use a regular metal key on the front door of your home or business, then Personal WPA2 is fine for you. Now that you've secured your network, you should also secure access to your wireless router, the machine that connects Wi-Fi to the network. They come with the simple default password that many online criminals may already know, or no password at all so we strongly recommend you change the password on your wireless router. This will prevent someone from gaining access to your router, which might allow them to change your network security settings. Keep this password to yourself. You should set up a different password to protect your router from the one used for your network. For help securing your wireless network and router, just search for the model number of your base station or router. In many cases, the info is available online. Otherwise, contact your internet service provider or the company that manufactured the router for instructions. So to recap, Wi-Fi is really convenient. We urge you to secure it with WPA2, a strong password, and to also set a password on your router. Now that you know how to set up your own secure Wi-Fi, we wish you happy browsing. For more advice on how to protect yourself and your family online, check out google.com slash good to know.